Cardano is down over 80%. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be bringing you some updated Cardano technical analysis because many people are very concerned of, about the fact that ADA is down over 80% from all-time high, currently sitting at 65 cents. But I want to ponder the question, is that actually a bad thing, and where is the bottom for Cardano? We're going to be looking at the technical analysis of Cardano, but we're also going to be looking at Amazon in 1999 to come to a conclusion on whether or not this is the end of the ADA or the start of something amazing. So without much further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. So let's set the record straight. Cardano rallied all the way up to $3.13 at its all-time high on September the 3rd of 2021. Over the last eight to nine months, Cardano has dropped over 80%, sitting down 81.63%, trading at a recent local low of 58 cents. It's currently sitting at 65. Is this the bottom or are we going to go lower? Well, there are multiple different technical factors that we want to look at. The first one is Lux Algo. Lux Algo is my favorite trend indicator. If you are not using Luxalgo, you are missing out. You should probably get it. The link is in the description box down below. Use coupon code JEB, J-E-B-B, for 20% off at checkout. The reason that we are going to talk about Luxalgo today is because Luxalgo more or less perfectly called this downtrend. This sell signal, as confirmed by Trendcatcher turning green right here, remained bearish all the way until this buy signal. All three of these signals were not validated by the rest of our methodology using Luxalgo. This buy signal never had a green trend catcher, therefore it's invalid, therefore the next strong sell signal is invalid. This buy signal had green trend catcher, but it only barely moved to the upside and it only lasted about a week. We generally want to see a confirmed Luxalgo buy signal last more than a week, so we didn't take that one into account, meaning that this buy signal is invalid, meaning that this strong sell signal is invalid, and we're still basing our analysis and trend direction off of this one. Then from there, we saw a strong buy signal that only lasted four days and was was countered by a strong reversal signal, meaning that this is invalid as well. All of these signals are invalid on Lux Algo, on Cardano. The next valid buy signal was right here, and this buy signal rallied Cardano 35% before we entered our next sell signal. From there, we've been under a sell signal ever since. This was invalid for the same reason that these two were, meaning that this strong sell signal is invalid, and it's a continuation of this one. Lux Algo has perfectly called this downtrend, this rally, and this downtrend. In fact, if we delete everything off of our chart and we were to use some Elliott waves, then what we would see is that this is the first wave, second wave, we're in the third wave, meaning we could see a, a fourth wave and a fifth wave to the downside. I do believe that we're going to see a next movement to the upside on the broader cryptocurrency markets within the next two weeks, probably on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano as well. I think Cardano is going to have a pretty major bottom before it goes into a corrective rally that could lead into a bull market, probably won't just yet, but it's possible. Then from there, I think we'll see another drop. Here's why I think that little rally is going to happen relatively soon. First and foremost, looking at Luxalgo again, there's more to the indicator than meets the eye. These are what are known as the reversal zones. As you can see, when Cardano hits the reversal zones, it typically means that the reversal is about to happen. We saw the same thing happen over here. We hit the reversal zone, and soon thereafter, we went into a rally. Right now, we have seen that Cardano has dropped all the way down to the reversal zone, dropping all the way down to 58 cents. The reversal zone was sitting at 57. That tells us that the bottom is very, very close. On top of that, if we look at a Another ranging band indicator, similar to the reversal zones on Lux Algo, Bollinger Bands, for example, we dropped all the way outside of the Bollinger Bands. The last time we did that right over here, we were nearing the bottom in price, not necessarily nearing the bottom in time, but we were nearing the bottom in price, and then we had a recovery from those levels 35%. I think we'll end up seeing something similar over the next two weeks, moving on into June. On top of that, we can see that there was a spike in volume yesterday, a pretty major one here on Kraken and many of the other exchanges. That typically signals the end of a trend. As you can see right here, when we bottomed out, we saw a major amount of volume. And the same thing could be said for this top over here. We saw a major amount of volume there. But where is Cardano going to get caught? Is it going to bottom out at 58 cents like it has ju done just now? Or where is it going to catch? Well, I think that we should look at the 200 weekly exponential moving average. Why? We have to have a methodology for what we're doing. Well, because if we look at Bitcoin, the 200 weekly exponential moving average serves as a strong support level during major corrections in Bitcoin's history of 80% or more. Notice back in 2014-15, Bitcoin would drop 84% and it dropped down to the 200 weekly exponential moving average and bottomed out. Same thing happened here in 2017-18. We dropped 80% and bottomed out on the 200 weekly 
weekly EMA. Then here we dropped 73% and bottomed out in that zone as well. I think even though we don't have historical precedence to go off of on Cardano just yet, this will probably be the first time that we see Cardano bouncing and holding the 200 weekly EMA. The 200 weekly EMA on Cardano is currently around 69 cents, but I'm not here to tell you that the exact price level is where we're going to bottom out, but more so the zone, probably plus or minus 10 to 15%, meaning that the bottom for Cardano will probably be above 50 cents in keeping with our methodology using the zone around the 200 weekly EMA. One final thing to consider on Cardano is actually not on the Cardano chart. It has to do with a company that you may be familiar with called Amazon. A lot of people know Amazon to be a multi-trillion dollar e-commerce juggernaut, but back in the late 90s, it certainly was not. In the late 90s, Amazon was a small startup that was struggling to be able to stay profitable as they sold books and were founding the space of e-commerce. During the 1999, 2000, and 2001 dot-com bubble, where most companies went bankrupt, Amazon lost 95.3% of its market capitalization in the span of just two years. At the time, Jeff Bezos said something very, very profound. He said that the market capitalization of Amazon does not speak to the intrinsic value of Amazon the company. Instead, the market capitalization is a reflection of yes, the intrinsic value, but also the fear or the FOMO in the hearts of the investor. What that means is essentially the exact same thing that we constantly say. The price action, the market capitalization, is downstream from the fundamentals. Amazon's fundamentals were phenomenal, and because their fundamentals grew, so did their market capitalization. It just took time. Two years seems like a long time until you zoom out and you look at the next 20, and you realize that Amazon will go on to rally over 60 thousand percent from five dollars and sixty one cents a share to over two thousand dollars a share on a fifty percent dip where it is right now amazon did not rally that massive amount because of its price action it rallied that massive amount because of its fundamentals and because of the adoption thereof that's what Cardano is seeing. It is seeing massive adoption. We've seen an incredible increase in the number of wallets being used, an incredible increase in the number of transactions over $100,000 in value. We've seen an incredible increase in the amount of development, both on the Cardano main net, but also on the layer two ecosystem on Cardano. Its fundamentals are absolutely exploding despite the price being down 80%. And what that does is create something that we call here at the channel an intrinsic value gap. Cardano is getting more and more fundamentally valuable every single day, but as price is going down every single day, meaning that you're getting a better and better deal every single day. I firmly believe that 10 years from now, anyone who bought Cardano anywhere below $5 will be a very, very wealthy person in Cardano because of the value that Cardano is going to bring to the DeFi ecosystem through their next generation smart contracts application. And by the way, just to quell any of the concerns, because people do say this, we have no relationship with Cardano other than a passing relationship that I have with Charles Hoskinson because we've interviewed him before. We are not sponsored by Cardano. We don't take coin sponsorships. That's completely against the core values of our company. We've never once done that or even considered it. So just so you know, we're not sponsored by ADA. We do invest in ADA, we do invest in Cardano, but we also invest in Ethereum and other competitors to Cardano. I just love Cardano and I do firmly believe in this technology and I hope that you do too. And if you don't, we do have some videos on the channel breaking down the fundamentals and the roadmap of Cardano so that you understand why we believe so firmly in the future of this project. Hashtag ADA gang. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss out on a 65 cent Cardano because you will probably be very sad if you do. Before I go, though, guys, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Whoa! Look wow! Look at this guy. He watched the entire video. What a cool guy. I think the next thing that he wants to do is hit the like button and then probably even subscribe to the channel. And perhaps even comment down below what he thought. That, that would be pretty cool. Wow. What a cool guy.